What distinguishes an opinion from knowledge? Actual, hard, factual knowledge. For example, say I believe that O.J. Simpson was guilty of murdering his wife. Do I know that? What distinguishes my opinion, which may be true or false, I can have true opinions that are not knowledge, we know this. What distinguishes that and makes my opinion knowledge? Everyone would say reason. When not only do I believe that OJ is guilty, but I have evidence that conclusively leads to that opinion as a conclusion from the evidence. Philosophy is just using reason to talk about and to examine in a very detailed and precise way our most important questions in life. And so today what we want to do is we want to talk about the method of thinking critically, of reasoning, how in general to do it. Because it'll be this that forms the foundation for our method in this course. So as I said, reason is what distinguishes knowledge from your opinion. So what is reason? Well, reason is the ability to prove something using logic, prove it's true from the totality of evidence that we have. And when we prove something, this involves two processes. This involves two things. It involves presenting evidence and it involves then drawing a conclusion from that evidence that's warranted on the basis of that evidence. This is the motto for our course. What we want to do in philosophy is follow the evidence where the evidence leads. And this means only where it leads, as far as where it leads, and no farther than where it leads. So the best way to understand how to do this is to understand how we would usually critique an argument. First, when we present evidence, those evidence are called, that the evidence is presented in language in what are called premises, i.e. the presuppositions of our arguments. And then from those premises, we draw logically, from principles of logic, a conclusion. So the first way we can attack an argument is to attack its premises to question the truth of the evidence that's being presented. I'm going to give you examples of this in the next video. But we might agree with the evidence. The evidence might be good, but it may not warrant us to draw the conclusion we would like to draw. That's the second way and most logical way to critique an argument, to agree with the evidence but say that doesn't lead to the conclusion you seek to draw. So, the next question we ask is, if the evidence is true, does the conclusion follow? So, philosophy is thinking really hard, using reason, to answer the most important questions of human existence. In this course, is there an ultimate good in life? If there is, what is it, and how do I follow it? We're using reason to answer that question. Reason is what leads us to knowledge rather than opinion. We want to be certain, and only knowledge gives us certainty. We do this by taking our evidence and drawing conclusions. And thus, a proof consists of two parts. Premises that lead to a conclusion, or at least claim to lead to a conclusion. And our goal is to critique, to see whether the argument or proof is a good one. In our next video, we will present an argument and then show how the process works very concretely for you. And then what you can always do is come back to these videos when we actually look at arguments from people, uh, the great thinkers that we're going to look at in this course, and use the method, practice the method, to get better and better at it.